three, two, one. What's good, people? It's Man Light Tech Jamo, fam. Now, man's got a little different thing for you guys today, innit? Pre this thing behind me, fam. This is the e-scooter SX250 cars, yeah? Basically, an electric bike, an electric motorbike that you can ride on road in cycle lanes without a license, without a helmet. You can do whatever you want because it's legally classified as a push bike, you understand, fam? Let me go and tell you what's really good with this thing right here. All right, yes, yes, what's good, people? It's your boy Jamo back again with a different thing. As I said, Mana Man is out here with the e scooter SX250 cuz, an electric motorbike which you do not need no CBT, no license, no insurance for. You understand? You can just ride it on the road one time. All you got to do is purchase the thing in the first place. Now, before I go any further, come on, have a big shout out to the guys at eScooter who are literally bucked like a couple of weeks ago at the fully charged electric show down in Farnborough, UK fam. Like, them man are so blessed. I literally walked up to them. I was like, look, I do a little YouTube thing. Your bike looks sick. Can man get like a little tester to ride around and let the people know what's really good? They were like, look, they'll deliver it down. They literally delivered it all assembled. Like when people purchase the thing in the first place, it's all assembled fam, it's good to go. So yeah fam, let me show you around the thing and show you guys what's really good in it. Okay, now starting from the front of the bike here, you've got a full proper bike light built into the bike fam, just like you would on a normal moped. And you can see either side here, yeah, you've got two indicators fam, two proper indicators, one proper bike light. This thing even goes into fog mode, like full beam mode, it's all wild. Down here now, you've got lockable front storage, yeah? Basically a frunk for your moped, fam. I don't even think I see those on normal bikes, cuz, but yeah, you understand it? It's a legit thing. Now, if man comes to the front wheel, yeah, you can see the suspension and the way the disc brake is set up. It's a mad thing, yeah? It's all wild. Like, the, the thing is proper, fam. It's not set like normal bikes, cuz. <laughs> the thing is all mad. Now, bringing you up to the top of the bike, the handlebar section, yeah? Obviously, you've got two, two key ignition thing going on here, fam. So, you literally turn the key. I've, I've never seen a bike where you have a key, cuz, and you have to turn it on. It's, it's all mad. It brings a whole new definition to the term electric bike, fam. And as you can see here, stuff that you'd have on a normal moped, like what, dipped beam, full beam, petrol, or more electric, I guess, in this sense, indicators, ready to go on and off. Fam, everything is here. You've got a big miles per hour, um, what's it called, sign and thing here. And you've got your modes on that side, got temperature of the battery as well, or I'm not sure if that's just generally outside temperature and you also got your battery percentage left. Now, what would be kind of cool is if they did a kind of estimate of how many miles you got left, but you know, it's good enough that it tells you how much battery you got left in the tank anyway. Now, on the left-hand side, you got two modes for the light. Obviously, you got the dipped beam and you got the full beam for when it's super dark and fun. I wanna tell you, yeah, I'm gonna switch to some B-roll, but this thing gets bright when it's dark at night, you understand? Now here, just like a normal moped, you've got your indicators, so you can literally... Can you, I don't know if you guys can hear that ticking, but you can see that the indicator light is flashing kind of thing, in it? And I'm going to show you how the indicator itself actually looks when it's flashing, you see it? It's doing its tinkers, it's, it's all mad fam. And that's something that you just don't get on a normal e-bike fam. Now, you've also got a little um, push to go throttle here now on this side i thought this was the level of assistance or speed that you go however when i've been riding it no matter what <laughs> no matter what setting i have it on um it seems to be going the same speed when i'm pedaling so i'm not too sure i'll double check with e-scooter and i'll put it in the comment section but yeah that's just a it just makes me feel like i'm going faster on free it's a placebo effect at the moment then down here you got a little horn as well you understand fam, let me not wake up the neighbours and that is early on Sunday morning still. Just like any other scooter, you're gonna have 
your mirrors cuz so you can see what's going on behind you without doing that awkward look behind you obviously still check for your blind spots and thing but um yeah no nah, it's it looks like it's doing job fam it's crazy that everything that is here would be on a normal scooter and you've also got this optional extra to have this bar here which you can obviously clip your smartphone to or clip your gopro to or just generally clip any kind of accessory that you want You've also got a little clip down here. I'm, I'm assuming you can clip like your shopping bags to that, um, hang something on there, whatever you want. You can hang on there. Yeah, it looks kind of cool fam. Now, if I just show you guys under the seat here, yeah, there's like a little key under here. I don't know if you guys can see that. But you've got a little key here. Go in there. Uh-huh. That pops this thing open, innit? Now, when you pop this thing open, there's, oops. <laughs> oh, flip sick, I just closed it again. Okay. Now, when you pop this thing open, you ain't got no extra storage under there, but this is where you got the battery in it. Now, two twos, when you unplug the thing, you can turn it off here. That's like a main trip switch. You can plug out the battery, obviously. So when you're charging it now, you don't need to obviously bring the whole bike up to your yard. You just slide out the battery. Let's move that connector. And this is how big the battery is. You understand? Let me just show that to the camera. You get me? It's low-key a big battery, but um, as you can see, man is holding it up this high here. And man is not athletic, but it's not too <laughs> it's not too tough still. It's not too tough now. Okay, okay, we're in. Put that handle down, slap that on, turn the there we go. And that's how you know that the battery is now on. So that's all you really get under the seat. Now, one more of them things that's an optional extra is you get this kind of little rear storage thing that you see on most mopeds. You've got little clips at the side to unclip and then you've got a separate key to go and pop it open now. Me personally, I would have liked to use the same key that I'm using for the front trunk and for everything else, but you know, boom. I've got some e-scooter paperwork in here, but there's decent enough storage in there, cuz. Like you can put all your things in there. I did a little bit of weekly shopping in there. Not big, big weekly shopping, but you understand the deal, innit? You just clip that back. You're good to go, cuz. But yeah, fam, as you can see, yeah? The thing is just set nice, fam. Like you got a little e-scooter logo there, which I haven't, oh, let me get that off. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. You understand, fam? What I think is funny as well, fam, is that it has this little fake rear license plate thing. <laughs> Where it just says electrically assisted pedal cycle, fam, 250 volt. So if you do get stopped here, they show you the deal. You can just show them, it, this is the deal, fam. The thing is legal, so back up, innit? You know what I'm saying? And then obviously, I forgot to show you guys, but you've also got rear indicators as well, fam. So it's not a hand signal thing. You understand? You just have normal indicators and normal brake lights like you would on a normal moped which again this is what i'm saying fam i've got electric bikes that are the same price as this that do not have these features so i don't want you guys to sleep on the fact that it has indicators brake lights front lights all the normal bikes and lights that our bike should have fam you understand Okay, so you want the real talks now. What is the e-scooter SX250 really like to ride? And I'm gonna tell you it for real, yeah? Manaman Man is a 140 kg rider. You understand? So if I tell you that this thing pings, that means with you guys at normal BMI levels, it's definitely gonna ping and it's gonna ping for more distance as well fam when you first get on the bike uh, you realize that it's heavy not as heavy as a moped but it's heavier than any e-bike i've ever tried before and i thought yo how is this motor gonna move this heavy bike plus me as well and it just does fam i don't know how it does it on a 250 watt motor but it literally moves like when you sit on the bike you press the green button that takes you up to a little cheeky six to seven miles per hour and then as soon as you do one pedal rotation yeah the electric motor kicks in and takes you up to 15 miles per hour it pings i'm not gonna lie it pings <laughs> like with minimal effort this is what i'm telling you 
when I'm pedaling, I'm not actually pedaling the bike. I'm just letting the motor know that you can turn on now, basically. So the pedals basically come like a throttle in that you're not actually doing much work. You're just turning on the motor. And um, yeah, nah, it's wicked. Minimal effort, even going up hills. When I go up hills uh, with my weight and the bike combined, it's about nine miles per hour, which is a lot faster than I would go up a hill without an electric bike. <laughs> at all kind of thing so a little nine miles per hour for me is still very good and it's gonna be even faster for you guys that are not doing up 140 kg every single day one thing that felt really weird is that from obviously riding motorbikes and mopeds myself the fact that you're riding what feels like a moped but you're pedaling it it feels the stability of it feels a bit weirder because obviously when you pedal you kind of go left to right and you have to counterbalance your pedaling whereas on a normal moped you just go straight and you press the throttle to go forward kind of thing so that kind of felt weird like my brain is telling me i'm on a motorbike but then my body's telling me you need to counterbalance yourself because it's a bicycle you understand uh so yeah that that felt kind of weird but apart from that fam this thing has been wavy honestly i'm wondering if you can unrestrict it because it's clear that when you get to 15 miles per hour the motor just cuts off it just gives up on life and it's like look we gotta keep it legal but it's clear that this can go much much faster than that one of the things that i wanted to emphasize was the weight of the bike itself i've already said that it's the heaviest e-bike i've ever used and like let's say for example if you want to take it on a train or a long distance journey you are going to have some trouble getting it up those flights of stairs at the train station or even lifting it into the back of the car in the first place so bear that in mind but in the same light that makes it a bit more theft proof because once you've locked the bike once the key is not in it the wheels physically cannot move they become locked inside the bike kind of the same way those rental electric bikes do and because it's so heavy nobody is taking this up and running away with it <laughs> so yeah no it's a good nice package man big shout out to the guys at e-scooter for hooking it up once again and yeah hopefully i'll catch you guys in the next one bless out